So hello everyone, I am Dr. Shruti Pandey from University of Louisville. So in the previous video, we have discussed all about the active power, the reactive power, and apparent power. Right? And we'll quickly write down the formula that active power is denoted by letter P, the unit is KW, and the formula is EI cos theta where E is VRMS, I is IRMS and cos theta. So this is what P or active power is. Then we have a formula for R, sorry Q which is reactive power. It is denoted by KVARs, right? And the formula for this is EI sin theta or we can write it as VRMS, IRMS sin theta. And the third one is apparent power which is S. The formula is KVAS and it will be E into I which is a combination of this real power and reactive power. So it will be VRMS and IRMS. So this was a quick revision for what all we have done in the last video or what I will be have studied in the last video. So yeah, now take now we'll take a question. This will, I mean this question is going to include all kind of active, reactive and apparent power components. So yeah, so in the example below, we consider the case of AC generator feeding a motor through a transmission line. So this is a generator. It is feeding this motor via this transmission line. Okay, so first thing which we need to know is uh, the conservation of law of conservation of energy, which we'll write down here itself that the power generated will be equal to power consumed or we'll write it as power generated by source will be equal to power consumed by load okay so what is the source here this generator is generating the power here and this motor is consuming all that generated power okay so this law of conservation of energy we will be using in the end somewhere okay now let's come back to the question it says what we need to do or what we need to find in this question is the task to find uh, is to find the motor current uh, then find the voltage power and power factor of the generator okay so um, the very first step before um, doing the question or before proceeding further is step one we will find the power triangle for each of the component or we'll find power for each of the component okay so let's start with this motor thing first so we will find power triangle for motor load okay so what is power triangle i told you that power triangle is this power triangle has three components into it one is real component one is reactive component and one is this apparent component or the combination component so this is what is real power right denoted in terms of kilowatt this is reactive power the unit is kvars and this is apparent power right denoted in kvas okay so this is what it is so um uh, so first we'll see that what all is given uh, in terms of or for the motor load what all is given in the question itself so motor the rating is given 20 kilowatt so this kilowatt thing what is it what is it indicating this kilowatt thing is indicating that the real power or active power component is given here because the unit is uh, because its unit is in kilowatt right so for the motor load P, I'll, I'll write it as PM. So for the motor load, PM is given, which is 20 kilowatt. Okay, anything else? Yeah, the power factor is given. Power factor is given and it says 0 0.6 lagging. So if it says that it is power, uh, if the power, it says that power factor is lagging, uh, what can we conclude with this? Like real power is given, that means that there is certain resistive element in this load or in this motor load. And it says that it is 0 0.6 lagging. So as per our civil shortcut in inductor, 
the current lags behind the voltage and that means that it is an inductive load so if say if it says that 0.6 lagging then me, then it means that it has some inductive component into it right so this kind of okay so um, the power factor is given pm is given and what do we need to find is qm that is reactive power of the motor and sm okay so uh, let's start with finding the sm value in this power triangle uh, if we want if we have power factor if we have pm then we can write it as that base upon hypotenuse that is pm upon sm is equal to cos theta base upon hypotenuse is equal to cos theta as per basic um, trig uh, basic trigonometry so uh, what is pm pm is given 20 kilowatt and what is sm this i need to find out what is power factor it is 0 0.6 so this is what uh, i'll write sm in suffix so that it do not create any confusion further so this is sm okay so i have already calculated it you can uh, you can calculate and cross check it so i think it comes out to be 33.3 kva this is the value of apparent power across this power triangle okay so now we have sm and we have pm now we can easily find the value of qm that is with the help of this uh, Pythagoras theorem s square is equal to p square plus q square so q square will be s square minus p square and q will be under root of s square minus p square okay so we'll write it as 33.3 whole square minus 20 square okay so i have this value also you can you can also calculate it by yourself i have the value i have calculated it before so yeah it comes out to be uh, where should i write it because this is 33.3 kva so maybe i'll write the qr va qm value here only the value comes out to be 26.67 kva hours right so this is the value of um reactive power so now we'll draw the power triangle with their respective values so this one is p p value was 20 kilowatt uh, q value comes out to be 26.67 kva hours and the apparent power was uh, what was the apparent power okay yeah 33.3 kvas okay so this is p this is positive q positive y because it is inductive load so therefore it is positive and this is s okay so now we'll see what is asked in the question from here from the motor part it says find the motor current so we know this we have written this formula before that s is equal to e into i okay so s we already know now we want to find i so we need to see the value of e which is also given in the question i told you that if the value is written like this 120 240 130 whatever the number is written like this so these values are always the rms value if it is given in the form vt is equal to vm cos omega t plus theta something like that then that uh, vm is the maximum value and i need to convert it into the rms value okay so here v rms is given 120 so we'll write it here to find motor current to find motor current we'll use the apparent power formula s is equal to e into i or v rms into i rms so s we already have 33.3 kva uh, v also we know 120 volt multiplied by i rms so i rms comes out to be 33.3 kva divided by 120 volt which is the value uh, the i rms i have it it comes out to be 278 ampere right so this is the value of motor current okay one more thing which is interesting here and which is going to help you in solving the question is that this current which is ig i generator current 
this current let us say that if it is a transmission line current let us say that i am denoting it with it and this current i'll denote it as, as im suffix m okay so these three uh, components the generator transmission line and motor these three are in series so we'll say that these three current will be equal okay so this is an interesting thing and we need to remember this uh, while solving the question okay so uh, so okay now we got this irms so we found the im current which is 278 ampere okay what is the next part of the question next we need to find out the voltage power and power factor of the generator okay so uh, for uh, we have we are done with the motor part now we will deal with the transmission line right b what do we what do we need to find out we need to find out the power power factor of the generator so we need to know the total p or the total real power of all the component in the circuit total um, reactive power of all the components and then the total apparent power of the circuit so we'll find out total real power of the circuit come entire circuit including generator and transmission line and motor so entire re real power then entire reactive power and then we'll plot a new um, power triangle with total p and total q and that way we are going to find the value of total s which is apparent power and then we'll get to know the power of this generator or the power which this generator is delivering or um, or further we'll, we'll see we'll see okay so now the step 2 is transmission line right so to know the real and reactive component of the transmission line we know we'll we'll draw this here it says 0.05 ohm and j 0.3 okay so this is 0.05 ohm and this is j 0.3 so it has a resistor into it and inductor into it so it has the real component also or p power also it has the q power also so first we'll find out the real power that is pt ty i'm denoting because of this transmission line i'm referring it as t so i told you that there are basically three formulas to calculate the power power is equal to v multiplied by i the other if you do not have the voltage value with you you can use this formula i square r if you do not have the current value with you you can use this formula v square by r okay so here i have the current value because i told you the current which is flowing in the motor which is this im current will be same as it current which is will be same as ig current so keeping it equal to im i'll take this it current also right so it is given which will be the same current this 278 ampere right and i am going to find the pt formula so pt i'll use this because i have it current so it will be i square rms multiplied by r i square rms is already given 278 r is 0.05 so the pt power i have this calculated so here uh, pt power uh, comes out to be 3.86 kilowatt okay so this is the value of um, real power or active power now we'll say cqt so the way i do this is i square sorry i'm so sorry so this is i right so this is i and this is r so the way i have done to find the value of power the way i have done i square into r if there is an in this element it will have certain xl into it and it will have i so it will be p is equal to i square into xl okay so and and yeah of course this power is reactive power because it is due to the reactive element so the qt will be i square rms into xl so it will be i square is 278 square into xl is 0.3 and this value i'm sorry this value comes out uh, to be you can also calculate uh, by yourself yeah this value comes out to be 23.19 kvar right so this is the reactive power of a transmission line 
yeah so in this step we don't need that s component to into it s st we don't need here but if you want to take out in any of the other question you can do this et square into qt square and that way you will get the value of apparent power across the transmission line now now the transmission line thing is done the motor is done now we'll come to step 3 uh why why did we why did we do this to know the real power and uh the reactive power across this so real i, I told you that if a big i mean if a complicated question is given to you having n number of inductance having n number of resistor element having n number of capacitor element generator motor you need to know the total the total real power also the total reactive power also across each component generator transmission line and motor right so um, to get to know the total power to know the actual total um, apparent power okay so now uh, we'll come to the generator yeah and we'll see that what all is asked in the question regarding generator we are already done with motor current now it says that find the voltage power and power factor of the generator okay so um, to find the power factor of uh, power of the generator or voltage of the generator what will be it the power across generator s will be equal to eg into i what will be this s what power this generator is delivering to this transmission line and this load right so for that what do we need we need to know total s this s and this s okay so this is the generated one or the source one and this and this are consuming that source power okay so we need to find the value of this s and this s so let's see let's find the value of both the s or or, or both the active or reactive powers both so um, now first i'll write p total right p total consumed by this line and this so p total will be p motor plus p transmission line okay so what is p total here our oh, p total is 20 kilowatt sorry p motor is 20 kilowatt and what is p transmission line here p transmission line is 3.86 kilowatt so this is what p total is right so um, i have it it is 23.8 kilowatt right so this is p total consumed by the transmission line and load right now we'll take q total so q total will be p sorry q motor plus q across transmission line so what is q across uh, motor q across motor 26.67 kvars 26.67 kva r and what is q across transmission line it is 23 this one 23.19 kva r so the q total comes out to be uh, the value of q total is 49.86 kva r right so this is what q total is and that way we can find the apparent power total apparent power consumed by the system if we know the total power consumed by the system we can know the total power generated because we have written for the first for the very first line what we wrote power generated by the source is equal to power consumed by the load right so what all this transmission line and motor is consuming will be equal to power generated so s total will be equal to under root of p total square plus q total square right and i have this value also so it comes out to be 55.3 kva s total so this is what s total is okay so as per conservation of uh, conserve i mean uh, conservation of energy law of conservation of energy this is all consumed by the transmission line and motor so s generated will be equal to s total or we can also write it as s consumed 
I'll not write um, the slash otherwise it will create a confusion that I'm dividing it so rather I'll use in bracket this thing this way okay so s total we also call it as s consumed so yeah so this power will be 55.3 kva and this power is apparent power of generator okay so now we got this value uh, they have asked for they asked for that what is the voltage power and power factor of the generator see now we already know the power of the generator or power delivered by the generator now we'll see the voltage across generator so s apparent power i told you is equal to e into i so this is 55.3 kva e is what we need to find out rather i'll write eg i i told you that what will be ig ig will be equal to the three currents uh here where it is yeah the i transmission line the i motor and ig will be same because I told you that they all are in series. Okay, so series current is always same. So I'm going to take that current here. It was 128, I think, right? So 278, sorry, 278. So EG into 278 ampere. So that way EG or the power or the voltage generated by the uh, generator is comes out to be 199 volt, right? So yeah, this is it and what what is the third thing i think they are asking for power factor of the generator so now i have motor current i have calculated voltage i have calculated power and now power factor of the generator so for power factor uh, by this triangle if now i have this s total or s generated i have this p total i have this q total and uh, if if the power factor for the generator is asked right so this is the uh, voltage of the generator so we'll we'll draw uh, we'll we'll draw with this uh, with the help of this power triangle or power factor is cos theta and cos theta is perpendicular sorry base upon hypotenuse so what is the base here uh, what was the total power here i'm not able to you know yeah so the total power p was 23.8 so i'll take this 23.8 upon apparent power apparent power comes out to be 55.3 kva this is kw so this is cos theta it comes out to be 0 0.43 yeah so this is cos theta and this is power factor so yeah here comes the end of full question so you can see i mean uh, you might now you might have this idea that 0 0.43 the power the value of power factor lies between 0 to 1 1 is the ideal power factor case an ideal power factor is when when there is no reactive element into it only resistive elements are there or only true power is there or active power is there so this is the case of resistive load all intermediate values are because of because of a uh, certain contribution of inductor or capacitor into it so basically as this is less than even half right so this is a poor power factor right because i told you that ideal is one so there are certain ways to improve the power factor which will be there in the next video so we'll see that particular question also thank you